Hi, I'm Jack McClaskey reporting for Bassity B, and I'm here in downtown Mount Clemens surrounded by the bar and restaurant scene, which as of May 1st will drastically change with the instatement of the Michigan anti-smoking law. This is a, a very important law. This is a very significant moment in uh, public health in Michigan and therefore in Macomb County. This is going to make a significant difference in the, uh, uh, the, the, the level of uh, healthy environment that we offer our citizens, so it's really a, a very important moment. Um, in one sense, it's not that great a change because our surveys through the health department show that over 80% of Macomb County adults are non-smokers. So the vast majority of people are already non-smokers and this law merely reinforces community values in Macomb County and protects the majority against secondhand smoke from a minority. So in that sense, we think it'll uh, meet with broad community acceptance and it will tend to be self-enforcing for that reason. We are not the first state um, you know, in the uh, country to have done this. Uh, it's happened elsewhere, and we have not heard of any real problems or issues where there's been fights in a bar or a restaurant because somebody has failed to put out their cigarette when other patrons were upset about them smoking in that restaurant or bar. Here are some straight facts about the new smoke-free law. As of May 1st, all workplaces, public and private, must be smoke-free. This includes food service establishments like restaurants, bars, and bowling alleys. Also, any public place and any private club that employs at least one person. The outdoor areas of restaurants and bars where food and beverage is consumed will also be smoke-free. Businesses excluded from this law are Detroit's three casinos, cigar bars, tobacco specialty retail shops, and any motor vehicle. After Sheriff Hackle and Mr. Gold's press conference, I wanted to speak with the people that this law would directly affect, the business owners and employees who would now have to adhere to this new mandate. Um, well, I'm a non-smoker, so actually I'm ecstatic for it. We've been smoke-free since November 8th, so we found that a lot of people are really enjoying our atmosphere smoke-free. For us, when we went smoke-free, it was about, for the first three weeks, people were upset, but after that, they all came back, and now our, all of our smoking customers are here with us again, and so, you know, it'll take a little time to get used to, but I think it won't be a problem. I just think it's the wrong time. You know, the economy's bad, and... The, most of the money that comes here is from people who come in here and they drink and they smoke. A couple months go by, people will wind up getting used to it, but in the first couple months I think people are going to kind of lose a little business and might have to sacrifice a little bit or come up with ways of being able to draw people in. For more information on the smoke-free law, you can visit www.mish.gov slash smoke-free law or call the informational line at 866-59-SMOKE. Again, as of May 1st, all businesses, either public or private, must be smoke-free. So whether you're for or against the new anti-smoking legislation, hopefully all of us in time can come to see the benefits of a non-smoking business community. For Bassity Beat, I'm Jack McClaskey.